What is going on YouTube, sir? Winner coming at you with another Rust for Dummies. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to play the Nomad playstyle. It's pretty simple, and it's easy. And if you don't want to build a base, I really recommend this for solo players, or even players who are preparing to set up a base, so you don't have to waste your resources on a resource base itself. Now, the reason why this playstyle is good is because it doesn't have a base which is pretty much just sticking out of the ground saying, come raid me. And now that can be detrimental at the start of a wipe. So you could even apply this Nomad playstyle to the start of a wipe, especially on servers like Rustralasia. And also, I'd like to thank Dank, the owner of the Medieval Dark Ages server, for letting me use this server for a Rust for Dummies. So anyway, it's very simple. All you need is a sleeping bag, your fire, and small stashes. Now all around here, I've planted small stashes on areas that are unique to me. Notice I built in this little dip area. So if I want to pull up my small stash, it's going to be hard for people to see me. I'm up on top of a hill in a dip. So anyway, the first one I placed is up here. There's that one. Another one I placed is on the edge of this grass. Right there. Another one's in this butt cheek crevice on the edge of the grass. Now, obviously, there is a certain risk to um, having this Nomad playstyle. And the obvious risk is, is your stuff is out in the open. Hidden, but out in the open. Now, with the small stashes, I really recommend against putting them in bushes, in caves, or in, uh, like, narrow, kind of, like, rocky areas where there's, like, narrow walkways, because people will be uh, looking there and stopping there and hiding there. And you never know if they're hiding there, they might look at the ground, and voila, all your loot is gone. So anyway, to recap, this is the Nomad playstyle. It's really good for solo players who only just want to make, like, bows and crap like that. I mean, it's no loss to you if it goes missing. And it's also good for people who want to start off on a wipe, in case they want to store, like furnaces or tool cupboards or anything like that while you're pumping in stone and wood to your base anyway guys i hope you liked the video please leave a like and a comment and subscribe and as always i will catch you in the next video